and welcome back to my channel. I'm back this week with another video for you guys. But today we're gonna be doing a little review on the Tarte Be Our Mermaid and Make Waves eyeshadow palette. Now today I'm just gonna do a review on this palette. I'm gonna be showing you guys a tutorial on this look. I'm gonna show you swatches. I'm gonna show you what the palette looks like up close, the packaging, the shades, all the nitty gritty details as well as the price and the weight and just pretty much everything you need to know about this palette before you choose to go out and buy it. So yeah, if you wanna see a review, a very in-depth review on this palette right here, then go ahead and keep on watching. But if you're not a part of the Pauline family yet, don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. And if you want to see a review on this palette, go ahead and keep on watching. All right, guys, so let's get into the details about this gorgeousness right here. Okay, so as I said before, this is the Be A Mermaid and Make Waves eyeshadow palette. This retails for $42. And pretty much the description on the website says that this is a mermaid-inspired eyeshadow palette that houses 14 matte and metallic shades, all stashed in a dreamy iridescent seashell compact. It provides glimmery neutrals, jewel tones, and aquatic hues and matte and metallic formulas to create looks fit for a sea siren. With Amazonian clay and mineral pigments, the creamy powder formula blends beautifully. And yeah, that's pretty much all the claims. It is 14 shades, as I said before. And pretty much every eyeshadow is 0.028 ounces. So you're gonna get 14 eyeshadows and each of them are 0.028 ounces. So that is not that bad. So now that I just went through all the details and the price and the weight and all that stuff, I'm just gonna show you an up close of the palette itself. So these are the shades in this palette, as you can tell. I feel like this is very beautiful. You have your blues right here, you have some highlighting shades, and then you also have three matte shades, which are these three shades right here. And you also have a cranberry tone, you have like a coppery tone as well, and a brown. So there's actually a lot of looks you can create with this. And then you also have a little mirror right here and the mirror says 99% mermaid. Now don't ask me why it's not 100%. And as you can tell this is all gold and it feels very nice and heavy. And then on the outside it looks like this. It is like this beautiful blue, purple, green and it feels like a cushion. It is really nice and it has like little knitted thingies that look like a shell and this is just really pretty and it's also like that on the back so it's not like they just did it in the front but this is what it looks like and overall it is a very beautiful palette so now let's move on to the swatches okay so this is the shade beach please and this is the shade salt water this is the shade fantastic this is the shade Mermosa. This is the shade Nude Beach. This is the shade Frosé. This is the shade Cavern. This is the shade Shell Yeah. This is the shade Splash. This is the shade Lagoon. And this is the shade Bubbles. So this is the shade Shore Thing. This is the shade Shipwreck. This is the shade Sandbar. All right guys, so first impressions on the shades after swatching them and after just looking at the packaging, I feel like all of the shimmer shades are very, very pigmented. As you saw, some of the shades show up different on camera because they are dual chromes. So that is why I would highly recommend going into your local Sephora and swatching them before you actually purchase the palette. Because as you saw, some of the shades that I swatched, like bubbles, show up brown when in reality they're more purple and blue because of the dual chrome pigment. However, they are all very beautiful. I don't think there's any shade in here that I did not like. Now, the only thing that I'm gonna say right off the bat is that I wish they had a little bit more matte shades because I feel like they have a lot of shimmer shades and if it would have added like a darker plum color to deepen up the crease or like a dark brown, I feel like it would have completed the palette or even a black. And of course, just a basic white or cream shade, I feel like would be very helpful in the palette instead of having so many shimmers. But you know, that is just personal preference, of course. I still like the color scheme. I feel like it's something new, something we haven't seen before because it's not just oranges and browns. You actually have blues and plums and you also have champagnes and rose golds. So that is really, really nice. So yeah, that is it for my up close look on this palette. First impressions and swatches. So right now we're gonna get into our tutorial and in our tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to get this look you see right here and then you're also gonna see kind of how I apply the shadows and how they blend and all of that so yeah let's get into the tutorial part of this video all right guys so let's get into the tutorial part of this video I know I look kind of cray cray I'm baking my contour and I'm baking under my eyes in case there's any fallout and this is what the little box looks like so of course we're gonna start off by getting it out of here first of all I like how the box has like texture like it feels like mermaid scales which 
it's kind of weird, but it's kind of cool at the same time. And it has like all the shades right here with a little quote from Tarte. And this is a pretty big box. Like, look how thick this is. I usually never get palette boxes that are this big, so it feels very fancy. And of course, it has a little film on it to protect the shadows and a mirror. But you know, I already told you guys the details about the packaging, so we're gonna start off by doing our eyeshadow. And I'm first gonna go in with my Morphe M504 and the shade Sandbar, which is that one right there. So you know, as soon as I hit my brush in the pan, there was a little bit of fallout, but you know, that's kind of normal for pigmented eyeshadows. And you know, I hope these are pigmented. So I'm just gonna first put this as my transition. First of all, these smell like chocolate. You know, if you have the Tardius Pro palette, these eyeshadows smell just like those. They smell like chocolate, so they smell really good. You know, I'm kind of building up the shade Sandbar on my crease. You know, I have to say, this shade is not as pigmented as I thought it would be. But it is blending so nicely and it is building up really nicely as well. So what I have noticed, you know, using just this shade from the matte eyeshadows is that you do have to build these up quite a bit, but they build up really nicely and they blend really nicely as well. Okay, so, so far I am liking how this is blending and the first transition I laid down looks really nice and faded. So now with the same Morphe M504, I'm gonna go in with the shade Shore Thing, which is this one right here. And I'm pretty much gonna put this in the same place where I put the shade Sandbar. This is just another matte shade. This one's a little bit more pink and it should be a little bit darker. Again, I'm having a little bit of fallout on the pan, but not really on my eye. Like when I put it on my eye, there's no fallout on my face. But when I hit the pan, there is a little bit of kickback. Okay, I do have to say this is blending into the first shade that we placed very, very nicely. And it is blending very fast. Okay, so now that those two are blended, I'm gonna go in with the shade Shipwreck, which is this right here. This is their darkest matte shade, and I'm gonna use that with my Sigma E34. I'm gonna tap off the excess since I am having a little bit of kickback in the pan and I don't want any fallout. And I'm just gonna put this right on the crease. Since there's only three matte shades in the palette, I was expecting this to be a little bit darker so that I could have more dimension in my crease. So that is one thing I'm finding kind of disappointing. But at the same time, it is blending exceptionally well and that is also building up really nicely. So if you do want to intensify this color like I am doing, you just have to build it up and keep blending it. Just going back in with my M504, blending any edges. We don't want harsh lines. So I'm first gonna go in with the shade Lagoon, which is this gorgeous blue right here. And you know, no, I'm gonna grab it on my finger. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Look at that. And I'm gonna put it right there. Oh, that's pretty, really pretty. Making sure that I get really close to the lash line. I'm gonna drag it almost to the outer corner, but not quite. Okay, guys, so I have to say that was extremely pigmented and it looks shiny and it just looks beautiful. Like, I love this color. And I'm just gonna dab into the shade Shipwreck, which is the darkest color we used on the crease, and my Sigma E38. It's gonna blend the edges of that blue into our transition in the crease. You know, I'm actually gonna drag this color all the way to the outer corner it's too pretty not to. Okay guys, so I have to say, if you see some blue right here, that's because I touched it with my finger, that is not really fallout. So this shade isn't really having any fallout on me, which is really nice. I'm just gonna blend those edges again. Not grabbing any additional color, I'm just blending the blue. Okay, so now with my finger, I'm gonna go in with the shade Splash, which is this green shade right here. I'm gonna go in right here. Oh, that's beautiful, I'm gonna look like a mermaid. Ooh, I don't even need to blend this right here. Like, they just blend it into each other perfectly fine. Gorgeous! Okay, I have to say, that green is one of the prettiest greens I've ever put on my eye. Like, literally every green I ever use is not pigmented enough. And the pigment on this green is just, oh, it's so beautiful. I'm loving this. It's blending so nicely. Like, as you can see, I just went one, two. And it's blended, like how easy is that? So now I'm gonna go in with the shade Bubbles, which is like just a duochrome right here. And I'm gonna put that on the very inner corner. Ooh, pretty. That blended into the green very nicely as well. I'm just gonna re-intensify the green again. And now I'm gonna blend this right here. Yeah guys, these blues are 
stunning. All right, guys, so I'm not crazy about how these blues look with this transition. I would love this with a more deep orange transition or a blue transition or a purple transition but you know they are blending nicely together i just wish this was a little darker but the shadows are not bad okay so now i'm gonna do the lower lash line and i'm gonna go in with my sigma e34 and the shade beach please just a shimmery red i'm gonna put it out here that pigment though i like this you know usually like shimmery eyeshadows or any eyeshadow for the matter has less pigment to the brush but i find that these eyeshadows they kind of look the same on the brush or swatched which is really nice and now since i do want to use more shades i'm gonna go in with the shade fantastic by the way i have to appreciate how cute these names are spelled gonna put it in the middle this pigment is everything that blended into the shade beach please really nicely like you can see it's going from like a lighter cranberry to a very dark cranberry and it is fading really nicely as well i'm gonna go in with the same sigma e34 and the shade salt water I'm gonna put it right on the inner third of my eye but on the lower lash line so now on my inner corner, um, I don't know what I want to do. I want to do all of them. You know, in the inner corner, I'm going to go in with the shade Froze. And I'm just going to do that with my Actilabs brush. <gasps> oh my god. That is so pretty. Don't mind me. I'm piling it on because this is like the most beautiful shade. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the shade Nude Beach. And with the same Actilabs brush, I'm just going to pop this on my brow bone. Ooh, you see that, guys? That reflection though, mind you, my brush does not have Fix Plus. This is dry. Imagine like these shades with Fix Plus or with glitter glue. Epic. Okay, so I literally used every shade except for Mermosa and Shell Yeah and Cavern. So I haven't used three shades and those are the more brown and bronzy ones. But I don't feel like they'll match my eye look. But you know, I did swatch them for you guys. They feel exactly like all the other shimmers in the palette. So I'm expecting them to work the same way. But I literally have no more room on my eye to put them anywhere. Okay guys, so that's pretty much all I'm gonna do with the eyeshadow. So what I'm gonna do right now it's I'm gonna put some mascara lashes I'm not gonna wear liner because I don't want to cover the eyeshadow and I'm gonna finish off this eye and I'll be back with you guys to give you guys my final thoughts and also to apply some of these eyeshadows on her cheek because after that brow bone highlight I need this on my face as well so I'll be back all right guys so I just finished my eyes and I am wearing Huda Beauty lashes in the style Noel number 11 this is from their full main collection I wore the benefit Bargold bang mascara and I did put some La Mercier caviar stick and plum on my waterline and I am wearing Anastasia Beverly Hills Eco lipstick and dusty rose so I'm gonna grab this real techniques brush and I'm gonna go in with this shade and this shade right here those are shades nude beach and Frosé. So I'm just gonna use them as a highlighter with this brush because they look so gorgeous on the eye. I'm really excited to see how they will look on the skin. I mean, that's cute. I mean, it's not as blinding as my brow bone. Like, look at my brow bone. It's not that blinding. And that's probably because this is not a synthetic brush. But that's really cute. Like, if you like a subtle glow that you can build up, you can even use this as a highlighter. Like, as you can tell, that's not bad. I'm just gonna add a little bit of this shade from the Carly Bible Deluxe Edition palette. That is my favorite highlighting shade ever and i feel like it makes everything just better okay so now i am officially done with my look and my highlight as you can tell all right guys so my first impressions on this palette is i actually really like it these are some of the best shimmery eyeshadows i have used in a while you know those blues oh my god like as you can tell that blue is so intense and beautiful and literally the blue eyeshadows look like the packaging itself like i feel like this eye look actually turned out pretty well and i really like the shimmer shades i also like the matte shades but i feel like in this palette the shimmer shades are better than the matte shades however the matte shades are not bad like short thing sandbar and shipwreck are the only three matte shades and they're three kind of pinkish mauvey plumish 
pinkish kind of shades and they did blend really nicely they did blow up really nicely but the only thing is that I wish they were a little darker so that I could have a little bit more dimension because I did have to blend a little bit of the blue into the plum in order for it to be dimensional and I really wanted the plum to come through and that didn't really happen because the shades weren't just they weren't dark enough so that is really the only complaint I had about the palette and the matte shades overall I did not have any problems with the shimmer shades they blend amazing they apply well with brushes and with my finger as you can tell on my lower lash line I did it with a brush and they were super pigmented and amazing and on my top lash line I did it with my finger the blue shades and they're still amazing and they blended really nicely and what I like is that these shades blend into each other like a dream like the blues blended into each other very nicely with the green and the matte plum usually I have a lot of trouble blending matte with shimmers but in this case as you can tell that blue shimmer it's blending really nicely into that matte mauve transition which is great and you know also like the packaging itself this is beautiful and it feels so heavy and when you open it it's like you're opening like a shell like this is beautiful so I know this is $42 so it's not the cheapest palette in the world but look at this like this is so unique and I feel like this is something that we all have we all have different eyeshadows but they took such a different spin on it that it is still unique which is so nice but the reason why I'm saying that they're so unique is because of their undertone like when you look at them up close they're very different undertones than just a regular blue or just a regular green or just a regular red and just the uniqueness of the shade along with the formula is why I'm saying that this is such a unique innovative palette and also the packaging so it's not just only like the color that they look like it's just like the formula and their undertones and their dual chromes and the packaging I feel like it all makes this palette so much better and I feel like this would be a very cute gift or a very good everyday palette as you can tell this look is not very everyday but if I switched out the blue for let's say the shade Mermosa or nude beach or salt water this would be a very wearable look you know like we always look at palettes and we're like okay there's so many neutral palettes and so many palettes coming out but I feel like this is actually something new I would highly recommend going to Sephora and swatching it before you get it because I do understand that the blue shades are not for everyone so you can always go to Sephora and check it out before you purchase it because I went to Sephora last week to get it and they told me that it was gonna be in stores on March 6th which should be right now like today it should be in stores and yeah I feel like that is it for my review I really like the palette I approve of it I think you should get it I mean it's amazing and it is something that we haven't seen before so yeah guys thank you so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel before you leave and yeah let me know what you think about this palette are you gonna get it or are you gonna pass on it and yeah that is it for this video and thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next one bye guys bye.